Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 9th of 2022. Well, it is titled Interstellar Voyager. So what do we see here? Well, this is uh, from a NASA poster that shows the Voyager spacecraft heading out into interstellar space. And these are the two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, the only spacecraft that are currently exploring interstellar space. And we are still in communication with them for at least a little bit of time now. Although it is likely in just a few years now that we will no longer be able to communicate with it. Its power will be too low for it to be able to send signals back to Earth. However, it will continue outward into space as it continues, continues its journey out through the universe. Now, where is it right now? Well, it's now outside the bounds of our solar system, defined as the sun's influence over um, the area. So it is continuing out. It's at a distance. They are at distances, uh, the two Voyager spacecraft, of around 20 light hours from Earth. Now, if you're familiar with a light year, a light year is the distance that light travels in one year. So a light hour would be the distance that light travels in one hour. So they are approaching the distance of one light day from Earth. Meaning, of course, that any signals we receive from them were sent nearly a day before. So what will happen to these interplanetary explorers? Well, they continue moving. They will continue traveling through space and heading outward into the universe. Uh, it will take a little bit of time, but over the next few hundred years, they will pass through what is called the Oort cloud. And that is a large sphere of icy bodies theorized to orbit around the solar system and is likely the orig origin of many comets. Beyond that, tens of thousands of years later, they will each pass relatively close to a star, as in within a few light years. So not able to explore the star, but will pass within there. And then finally, in hundreds of thousands of years, they will continue to pass through, pass through stars, by stars, uh, but nothing ever really close. None of them is in the, heading in the exact direction of a specific star. So they will just head out into interstellar space and essentially will be dead spacecraft. As the power supply winds down and runs out, then they will have no source of energy and will just continue to travel outward. Now they do have, each of them was sent with a golden record, sending the images and sounds of Earth out into space. And these are designed to last a billion years. So it's possible that in the distant future, perhaps some civilization will come upon these and be able to view these records and be able to play the images and sounds and pictures that were sent out back in the mid 1970s. So that was our picture of the day for September 9th of 2022. It was titled Interstellar Voyager. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.